I'm going to teach a couple of interesting topics. As usual, I have two columns, random column and fixed column. Random column I have created to make sure my procedures are correct because as soon as I am done with fixed column, I can repeat all my computation for random columns to make sure that the procedure is working fine and I can create hundreds and hundreds of examples out of these random problems. The first thing I want to discuss is a rank. Usually I do it at the end of the semester when I want to know what is the rank of each student in my class. I'll go here and I say equal to rank. As I explained, you need to be patient with Excel and you need to look inside the Excel cells. It will tell you what to do to some extent. Here, I find I want to rank and it says, what is your number that you want to find its rank? I say it is here. Then it says, you want to find this rank where? What is your reference? I'll go over there. Whenever I cannot go to a cell, I can go to one cell adjacent to it and then use arrows, go to the cell that I need, control shift down, F4, lock it because I'm going to copy it down. If you want to give the first rank to the largest number, you enter nothing here. If you want to give rank one to the smallest number, then here you need to enter one. I enter nothing. If you enter zero, it is also the same as entering nothing. So I enter nothing. It will give me rank such that the largest number gets rank one. The smallest number gets the last rank, the largest number. The smallest number gets the largest rank. 36 has rank 76 in these numbers. 90 has rank seven. This 90 also has rank seven. So if two numbers are the same as each other, they get the same rank. But the next item, if two numbers get rank 7, the next item does not get rank 8. It will get rank 9. 93 is rank 2. And 52 is rank 100. That means just the lowest number behind everything. If I wanted to give the smallest number, if it was the time that they have spent on something and have come out with the correct solution. I enter here one and then the smallest number gets the first priority. If we look at here, for example, 56 is second. This 56 is also second and so on. Let's go back to here. When I either enter nothing or zero and higher grades are ranked first. One thing we need to know here is some ranks are repeated. Therefore, I don't have 100 different numbers here. It would be less than 100. So if I come here and I mark this data, and I go to data, advance, and then I say find the unique values and then copy it not on the same column, but here. Okay, and those numbers are listed over here. See, these are unique numbers. The other numbers have been repeated. If I want to know how many unique numbers I do have. I use count function here, over there, parenthesis here. There are 38 unique numbers. Okay, now I can go here and I can take this one over there. And of course, I need to take this C3 also to B3, enter and then I can find the rank in red column. Obviously, this does not show those numbers because this is, this refers to the old values.
but ranks are working fine. Now let's talk about sorting some numbers. We are still in the same file. Let us sort this column, okay? So in market, I will go to data. So says, do you want me to expand it to some other things? I say, continue with what I have selected. And then I uncheck this, sort column C. This sorted from smallest to largest. I could have said from largest to smallest and that's done. Oh, let me mark this column which is random and then I click continue with what you have. It is not sorted from smallest to largest. 66 is here, 67 is over there. Why? Because these are random numbers. As soon as we sort them, they are changing and sort does not work. That static sort does not work. That utility sort does not work. So how can I resolve this problem? I come here, equal to small. Small where? Small in this column and lock it, comma and what? Small and one, smallest one. Copy it down, smallest and what? Smallest and two. Smallest and three. Now, I can sort these data all the way from the smallest to largest. When I change them, no matter what numbers are there, they are always sorted from small to large. Now, suppose I want to sort them from large to small. I'll go here. And I type equal to large. This one. Lock it. F4. And large and one. Enter. 94, large and 2, large and 3, and so on. Now, when I change these data, they are always sorted. That sort utility over here does not work. I can improve the situation a little. I delete this. I go here and I type small. I have already marked that column. Here I type rows. Rows. Rows is a function. Rows from where to where? Rows from this one column to itself. From A3 to A3. A little bit strange. They come and lock this one. F4. Now it is from absolute A3 to relative A3. And I end And I enter it. Now the smallest number is here. Because from absolute A3 to relative A3 is 1. So it says small. Look at this column A and find the small and 1, which is the smallest. If I copy down and double click on it, it is now from absolute A3, but because the first A3 was relative, when I have copied down, it has become relative A4. If I copy it down, it will become A5, A6, A7, A8, A11, and I can copy it all the way down. The same for large, equal to large, array is this array, F4 to lock it, comma, rows, from where to where? From here, column to itself. But let's make the first one absolute. It is not important if you make both A and 3 absolute, or just 3 absolute. Here I just make 3 absolute. 
enter it enter it is still correct and go down so here in this talk we learned small we learned large and we also learned rows and column rows function column function also works the same way for example if i come here let's say equal to rows from here to itself and if i mark this one f4 and comma and columns of the same thing copy you just paste it here but instead of rows I will type columns okay one and one two and one three and one four and one five and one six and one and so on and so forth so i can type here this one instead of and multiplied by one one times two two one times three three one times four four five six seven eight nine okay two times one two two times two four two times three six eight ten twelve fourteen eighteen and so on and so forth thank you for paying attention